Sure enough, he found that he did get an electric charge that would attract certain things. To see for myself for one instant was better than learning about something I had never seen for two hours. Although his mother was pleased with her son's interest in learning, she wasn't pleased with the strange smells that were coming from the cellar. The chemicals were messy, she thought, and dangerous. My mother's ideas and mine differed at times, especially when I got experimenting and mussed things up. Finally, his mother agreed he could keep his chemicals, but he would have to make sure no one else would handle them. She was right. He remembered that some neighbor children had gotten into the cellar and had been tampering with his things. That was a problem. So, to keep people away from his chemicals, he labeled all his bottles poison. Not too scientific, perhaps, but he worked out a secret code so that he could know what was really in each bottle. Hour after hour, he would perform simple experiments, exploring the wonders of nature and finding practical ways to solve problems, just as he would throughout his life. But as he continued his experiments, he found he was making more and more trips to the store where he bought his chemicals. An apothecary's shop, a kind of drug store, 